Hey, broken salespeople. So today I want to talk about gatekeepers and all the headaches involved and how to get past them. That's on this episode of the Broken Salespeople podcast. Hey there, broken salespeople. Welcome to the workshop. My name is Red Staffstrom. And we are here to help you fix your broken sales skills. So first and foremost, just a quick point of order. I changed the way my microphone is set up. If you like it more, let me know. Um, you could leave a comment on YouTube. Um, you can send me an email, red at brokensalespeople.com. Um, I just love to hear what you think. If you like this more, if you like my previous style, um, the previous uh, microphone setup, I'd love to hear from you guys. So today I wanna to talk about gatekeepers. I want to talk about the bane of the salesman's existence. Um, if you don't know the term gatekeeper, most sales trainers break down all people into really two fields. They are either the gatekeeper or the decision maker. The decision maker is the person who owns the business and gets to make the decision on whether you sell or not. The gatekeeper is the person responsible for keeping you away from the decision maker. Um, when I think about gatekeepers, I think of one woman in particular that I used to work with by the name of Cheryl. Cheryl was tenacious. Um, she was very, very good at keeping salespeople, keeping pitches away from the owners of the company. Um, she did a lot um, to the point where just as a sidebar, I always wonder if she's turned away that one salesman who could have changed our business completely. And the reason is because as a salesperson who has offered a lot of valuable products, I know that there are products out there that could have changed things, changed the way that that company did business. And if they did and didn't have a strong enough rapport with Cheryl at that time, that company would have never had the option. They would have never even known that that product that could have solved so many problems for them even existed. So the problem that most salespeople have is they don't see the gatekeeper the right way. They, they look at gatekeepers in a very antiquated manner. Um, most sales trainers out there talk about gatekeepers like their sec uh, secretaries, like their receptionists, and that is true some of the time. The problem is the world has changed and changed considerably. Uh, the world is not what it used to be. Now, people don't purely work as a receptionist the way they used to. They don't purely work as a secretary the way they used to. Uh, those job titles have been rolled up into a bunch of different administrative tasks. They don't only sit by the phone like a 16-year-old in a John Hughes movie anymore. They're now also doing data entry. They're doing filing. They are doing um, all sorts of different things to make sure the business runs the way it's supposed to. They are tangentially involved with every aspect of that business. They're involved with credit. They're involved with sales. They are involved with delivery. They're involved with HR, payroll, you name it. They do all of those different things. They may not be an expert in all of them, but they have a better idea of how the overall business works than almost anybody else because they see the log jams happen more often than anybody else does. They're also usually the ones with direct access to the owners, direct access to the CEOs, the founders of the company, because their role and the personal lives of the owners, CEOs, are usually intertwined in some way. And I don't mean that in a madman secretary style. I mean that in a, they, the owners may ask the admins to do simple personal tasks. Hey, can you call the bank for me kind of tasks. So now you as a salesman, you have to understand this. Their role 
as a secretary, as a receptionist, is probably only about one eighth of their total job. They are not waiting there just to squash your dreams and squash your opportunity to make money. They are doing 5, 10, 15 things at once, and you interrupted them from that because they have so many other things that they have to do. They are spread so thin. They feel irritated. They feel undervalued in most companies because they're so intertwined with everything that you're just one more thing to deal with. Start looking at it from that set, that idea of empathy. Start thinking about what their day is like rather than how they affect you. They are not just faceless guards in front of Buckingham uh, Palace. They are very much the trusted confidant of the business. And it's time for you to treat them that way. It's time for you to give them the respect that they are clearly looking for. Ask for their opinions because they have better information about the company you are trying to sell to than any website that you can go on. No matter how much info they put on their website, the secretary knows more. They know everything about the way things are done. They know what works, they know what doesn't, and they know where the roadblocks are. So use them. Use them as a resource. Also, we need to stop seeing gatekeepers as somebody to get past. The gatekeeper is another sale in and of itself. The same way you see a decision maker as somebody who has to buy into you, has to buy into the product you offer. You have to build rapport with that decision maker. You have to build rapport to that admin, that gatekeeper, that secretary, that receptionist. You have to get them to trust you. They, they have to know you like you trust you and be able to identify your voice as soon as you call. So take the time to build the relationship with them because they are going to be the person who says, hey, this is a great product. That is the warmest lead-in that you can possibly have. So how do you do this? So how do you get them to actually give you the opportunity to sell and not get cut before the game even starts. If social media has taught us nothing else, people want to give other people their opinion. That is pretty much a universal truth. Even if you post two pictures of a kitchen, people are going to say, I like A, I don't like B. So give the gatekeepers the ability to share their opinion. Hey, my name is Red. I work with ABC. I have no clue if I can help you, but my assumption is you don't just sit next to the phone and wait for people to call all day. You've got a pretty good idea about the business, right? Yeah. I don't know anybody who says they don't. Of course. Can I talk to you for three or four minutes? And if you think it's valuable, I'd love to take the next step and talk to somebody else who would be in charge of making that decision. Does that sound fair? See, now you've asked for their opinion and you've given them permission to be open and honest with you. You've given them the permission to shut you down. And while there might be some people who take that permission right away, there are more still, in my experience, who will be excited for that opportunity, that ability to be heard, because that's pretty much what every human being wants. Take the time to ask them for their opinion, to ask them what kind of problems, what kind of roadblocks are in there, because that's intel you can't get anywhere else. And once you treat them with respect, they'll usher you in with a full bow almost every time you call. They will be the ideal gatekeeper. They will lower that drawbridge for you every single time if you treat them with the respect they deserve. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know, red at brokensalespeople.com. Feel free to review, to like, to subscribe, depending on what channels you're listening to it this on. Um, I can't wait to talk to you guys again. And until next time, Go fix yourself.